First Timothy two verses number second, second, I'm sorry, Bazalan. Second Timothy two verses number fifteen. Bagbaya Bes Fazani Lapak first Timothy two fifteen. Amen. But she shall be saved through childbearing. Second Timothy two verses number fifteen. Study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. Let's read that again. Study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that does not need to be ashamed. Paul is teaching Timothy here. There is a divine approval that every minister or every believer must receive from God. That divine approval comes after a man has studied the scriptures. God does not approve of any man that has not studied. Utigu Job 38 verse 1. Utigu is it that darkens counsel by speaking words without knowledge. A person who speaks words without knowledge causes the counsel of God to be dark. It doesn't have light. Though there is God's counsel, but they can't fully grasp the whole counsel of God because it is darkened by the words. A kulunya umuntu who speaks words without knowledge. So take Paul, there is a divine approval from God. And that divine approval from God comes when a man has studied. He has studied the scriptures. But number two, he says that man will not be ashamed. He will not be ashamed because he will be rightly dividing the word of truth. That's our focus for tonight. He will be rightly dividing the word of truth. So, my figure with Huba, Logu Pendu, Labambuza, and Etemba, like, and Gazabe ashamed. Ngoba Uzobe, a study, she lama scriptures, was a totally divine approval from God. You know what you chase? He waited 30 years to receive the approval. 30 years of his life. Just for one day to receive an approval from God. And my figure approval, this is my son. Right, I should see him, it's here. Hear him. Because he has been approved in heaven that whatsoever he speaks, he speaks as one speaking the oracles of God. So, that nominology from the scriptures will be ashamed at the critical day of destiny. So, Paul says to Timothy, you must not be like that. And then he says, you must rightly divide the word of truth. Now, here comes the first focus on a little divide. Because it's something else to explain scriptures. It's another thing to divide scriptures. Umakunya, the explanation of scriptures, it's someone who stands here and tells you what this verse means what. But umakunya, the division. When you speak of division, you are speaking of someone. Opete, let's say, opete, ten phones. And they are four people pamwaki he needs to give them even funa banikeza ama phones alinganayo explaining what the phone can do is something else but allocating it to its rightful owners is something else so paul says here you don't only need to explain the scriptures you need to divide them meaning you need to know after knowing what the verse means where does it belong which time frame does it belong to? Because you're going to come across some scriptures in the Bible. It's in the Bible. But if you take that now, thinking you are zealous for God, you will end up in prison. And we will know what you are incarcerated for your own foolishness. It was not God. So so knowing the portion of scripture what it means and allocating it which is the scripture si belong Allah has a great importance so to Paul good Timothy for you to know the scriptures accurately you must learn to divide them you must know this portion of scripture it belong up this one it belong up but to St. Augustine distinguish the periods the scriptures will harmonize if you are able to distinguish the periods where the verses belong, when you draw scriptures haphazardly, that's why you will find men. There are men today who are going out there boldly thinking that the Bible contradicts itself. You won't reach that conclusion if you know how to divide the scriptures. 
you will know where the best belongs. Now, Unkulunkulunga is catching. Umshaba. No, Unkulunkuli dwells in eternity. Are you here, Pastor Juan? God dwells in eternity. So, Ama dealing Zake no Mundu has factored them into pockets of times that are called seasons or dispensations. Because Unkulunkuli is able to get Zulunil Pelelisi. Where? Ninam? God's purpose is complete in heaven. There is nothing Unkulunkula starting to get into purpose yet. We intend it where he is. He's the Alpha, the Omega. The Lord came in the Revelation. Ali shuguti Alpha end. Lower end. Awo kogu Greek. Li shuguti God is Alpha Omega, meaning He's the beginning and the end at the same time. He does not have to be the Alpha and the end, the Omega. No. That means unkulunkulu he can see. Kulo le asuga tiklo na let the light as clear as he sees today. He sees in the day of the second coming of Christ as clear as he sees in the day. As he is cut as Gulayo Giena, we eternity all times and seasons are here before him. But to accommodate us in his dealings, he has to divide his purpose into pockets of times. And to deal with men through seasons. He deals with men through seasons. So, Ungulungulungi, I divide the cut as me say, Ngama dispensations. Mofundi Zenzo 20, verse number 27. Let's go there. Acts chapter 20. Verses number 27. X 20 verse 27. X chapter 20 verse number 27. I want to show you what Paul said. Paul says, For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. So it's all the counsel of God. He has taught the church from the beginning right through the end. Aiki time frame I skip. Aiki then the overemphasis kuyona, but he taught them the whole counsel of God. Now we Bible again is divided into dispensations, and this is very important for us to lay this foundation today because it's gonna be a long week. The Bible is divided into dispensations. Ephesians three, verses number two. Ephesians three, verses number two. Ephesians three, verses number two. If you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given to me towards you. What to point there is a particular dispensation, like a military dispensation, it's Greek or economia, meaning the economy. Now you must understand what this means. Matua economy means administration of affairs. It's an administration of affairs. Number two, it's a stewardship of affairs. It's a model of dealing. Masiti dispensation ye law. Si shukutu kunukuli model laga teisebe zisa to deal with humankind is called the law. Moses was a custodian of the law. Because the law came with Moses but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. So, um Moses, my dealer, ama affairs, ne nation era Israel, he was dealing with them through the economy called the law. And so it's called the dispensation of the law. Because some affairs, the administration of the Betendrengayo, it's an administration of law. No one will know God gets cast scamoses, scamose without the law. If you wanted to know God, even though you were a Gentile, you had to convert to Jewish religion in order for you to was a economy, the administration, the purposes of the government, it get dispensation to a law. So, Gisho Hatiwa, who caught up, who Abraham, who caught up, and if you were not adherent unto the law, you couldn't attain a relationship with God because the administration of that time was law. After the law, the administration man is grace. We are custodians of grace. Meaning, even if you keep the law, that dispensation is passed. If you don't know Christ, you won't know God now. Don't you know the law because. The model of dealing has changed. God is no longer receiving men according to the merits of their own righteousness. But the righteousness that New Testament is not end, it is imputed. The moment you believe in Christ's righteousness is imputed upon you. It is not end, it becomes a gift. So, it dealing, it model, the New Testament is not like the old one. It is a new one and it is a model called the grace of God. So, our dispensations, we must understand them like that. So, this is the economy kunukula seven zisa yo kubant. This is the economy kunukula seven zangayo kubant. Kunesis katas pilakson. 
Now with this in view, Bazalwane, I want you to know, First Corinthians 9 verse 7, you know, to Paul, for if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. He says there is a time, or a dispensation in the evangelium, a committed so a dispensation can be committed to a person because this dispensation belongs to you the dispensation of the law was committed to Moses but the dispensation of the gospel was committed to Paul and I was going to show you through the scriptures if we had the luxury of time how Jesus and Paul were, 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 were both not equals but were sent to different groups of people. Romans 15 verse 8, Utu Paul corner, Jesus Christ is the minister or the messenger of circumcision. Now, I say that Jesus was a minister of circumcision for the truth of God. Utu Paul, Utu Jesus, he never preached to the Gentiles. This ministry was to the Jews. Because about to be circumcision, about to be circumcision, about to be but Matthew Romans chapter 11 verse number 13 Utu Paul I say unto you Gentiles for I speak to you Gentiles inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles I magnify my office so he places himself as far as ministries contend in the same pedestal as Christ just to different groups Jesus was sent to the Jews and Paul came in and Paul was sent to the Gentiles so in our ethic dispensation of grace was committed to him Peter, if you study the gospel of Peter, you study the books of James, you won't find the word grace. It's only Paul in the New Testament who speaks about grace because the dispensation of the gospel was committed unto him. Utama Judah, Nama Gentiles are now going to unite in Christ Jesus as a cornerstone. So Jesus was the messenger to the circumcision, but Paul is our apostle. Peter confessed to him what is Paul Zinzima because Peter was a Jew. His ears were not anointed to hear Paul. But we the Gentiles is our own apostle. It's not hard for us to hear him because he speaks to us as Gentiles in as much as he is our apostle. So Paul is our apostle and the dispensation of grace was committed unto him. If we had time, but on the book of Ephesians 3, we would tell Peter if they did not know what the church is. They thought he came to upgrade the Jewish regime. They thought he came to make better the Jewish religion. He came to dethrone Rome and all the other world empires in order for the Jews to become important people. It's only Paul who came and said, this is a new thing which is Israel. This thing was not there before. The mystery has been hidden in ages to people before, but now it's been revealed to me, to his only apostles and prophets, that the Gentiles will be fellow heirs with the Jews in the commonwealth of God. It's Paul who came and said the New, the New Testament churches, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers, Peter didn't know that. It's Paul who called the church the point of Christ. It's Paul where the revelation of Christ is the head. Are you here, Pastor Lord? So when Paul came in, he came in because there was a dispensation that was committed unto him. Now there are seven dispensations that so dealer now, but in Funa Spuge le eba legil Ephesians one verses number ten. Ephesians one verse number ten. What we're gonna do today is lay foundation, define terms, because must kuluma ngama terms ubusu as we must mention a lekama as Ephesians one verses number ten. That in the dispensation of the fullness of time. So I want the dispensation. To the dispensation of what? The fullness of times. So Makuna get the dispensation of the fullness of times, it means Kunes cut Kunukula Misile, Kwasawa Konis Katas Milsile, so who to Ali So there is a dispensation where God is gonna fulfill all times. Lies of Boka Konis cut. This cut is of God was bad. This cut is also called Pasbegwe. Uche is to see a corner, Ubuso Baka will be born of kind side. Because his face shines brighter than the sun in its full strength. There will be no night, there will be no night, there will be no day. No one will need the sun or the moon. Lend your 12, for quarter past 7, you will be echo in eternity. Because the disposition of the fullness of times would have come. Shout Amen if you are here. 
Now there are seven dispensations, Basal One. Give me A4 on our screen. Um, you Nizobona dogs over vividly because of A4 on our screens. It's very vivid, Basal One. Give me the new one that I sent you today. Maybe it's gonna be clear. C1. C1. This is better. This is much better. Now there are seven dispensations. Dispensation of innocence. The dispensation of conscience, the dispensation of human government, the dispensation of promise, the dispensation of law, la palekonu church, dispensation of grace, and then we have the last dispensation called the kingdom. The dispensation of the kingdom. There are seven in total. You need to listen to me carefully. You need to listen to me carefully. Each dispensation has a responsibility. Umunta nigezwayona. Number two, each dispensation has man's failure. Number three, each dispensation has God's judgment. So, unkunukul may keep her each dispensation. Unige zumunti responsibility to administer it. Then man fails. And when man fails, God judges. Masukunukul may mashkule lumunti lo dispensation niya valo kukalek. Okay? Number one, we have the dispensation of conscience. Let the dispensation of conscience span from Genesis chapter 1 to Genesis chapter number 3. What was the responsibility? The responsibility was to play his role, Adam, to fill the earth, to subdue it, to tend the garden, and to obey God's prohibition. The prohibition is that do not eat. Empty no was I want you to know Adam was not righteous, he was innocent. Innocent and righteousness are two different things. In Ghana, very innocent, I call righteous. Irrighteousness is what you choose when you have an opportunity to be unrighteous. So when Adam was presented with an opportunity to be righteous, or go to go back to Ghana, is telling Salwa Mutwa is about Ghana. You are righteous because you had a chance of sinning and you didn't take it. But before that, he was not righteous because he did not have a chance. He was innocent. Umundo innocent, umundo ngena kala ngengo taraza litoli tuba. Koto umundo rashia, umundo ngena kala litoli lituba lo banalo kuto angali sebenzisa. So Adam was not righteous. Adam was innocent. So that's why it is when get dispensation ye innocent. It's a dispensation of innocence. He was commanded ugutarangaji. What was his failure? He rebelled. He ate willfully from the tree of knowing good and evil. And Adam was not deceived. When Adam ate, he knew what he was doing. Verse 22, verse 14, 24, Adam was not deceived. Adam, in a kiss on a sake, in iniquity. His sin is called iniquity because it is a sin that is transferable, a pre-planned sin. Umuto commit iniquity, umuto be neskat was kabang was plan is on a sake, what was performer. Lo umuto has performed what we call iniquity. It's only the woman that was deceived. That's why in a trash she transgressed. But Adam was Adam gets cut He knew the results. Come here. He knew the results. He knew he was doing something wrong. The serpent was not there to deceive him. So yeah, and Adam was not deceived. He ate willingly. That's why he's on a sacrifice on a rebellion. Because saying that you need deception, you are willful sinning. So, Lagu innocent, he was not supposed to rebel, but he rebelled. What was God's judgment? God expelled them from the Garden of Eden. And then after the Wakali dispensation is on a conscience. Umundu Wakalu apila ngone meza. Mofundu Romans 2, verse 14 to 15. Apostle Paul alludes to that time. Because there were people who were asking him, what about a person of faith who a A person who never heard about Jesus. What do you It's simple. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 Amen.
unembeza wake uyamkele ukuthi kurongo kungonhlingani yakho unembeza wakho uyamkele ukuthi njoba uhleli la ungashadile kurongo lo because the law of god which is unspoken is written in every man's heart so oku muntu ophilayo ofe ujesse ngakafiki phambi kaNkulunkulu kuyo khisha unembeza wabo and the voice of their conscience that was speaking in their ears which they did not hear it is the basis of their judgment so that dispensation was a dispensation of conscience it began from Genesis 4 to Genesis chapters number 8 this one was the most cruel one because kuyona kungena u Genesis 6 oh mazaba I, i i i wish we had so much time sazobanas because i was going to show you ukuthi sono sa Genesis 6 sihlule sa Genesis 3 Ngesikhathi uAdam ona waxoshwa. Ngesikhathi abantu ubona ngesikhathi kanwe wabhujisa umhlaba. That's how terrible that sin was. Ngawo ukuthi uJesu mayifanisi ithi uzokubuya kwakhe kuMatthew 24 verse 37 akayifanisi nekhathi zikaAdam. Uthi just as the days of Noah were so shall also the coming of the son of man be. He says umhlaba usazodegenerate ube worse njengane nesikhathi zikanwe not the Adam. No one time were more worse than Adam time. Yona ntenze ukulunkulu awubhubisa umhlaba. Ningilalele bazalwana. And remember, remember, remember bazalwana. Lithi izwile inkosi uNkulunkulu wafunga ukuthi akasa ukubhubhisa umhlaba ngamanzi. Hayi ukuthi akasa ukubhubhisa. I element yokubhubhisa zoyishintsha. But it is such in umhlaba isazoba khona. And kufuna siyeke siyo ukuthi yina enze uNkulunkulu awubhubhisa. Eyamunkulunkulu awubhubhisa it means that occurrence is still going to come back again to provoke him to that same anger and response but this time not with water but with fire so that of the Oklahoma area so what was happening as cats is going over because let this petition a conscience elabaya was the most deadliest one and yet there's a look to when a man is left alone to his own conscience he becomes self destructive Ayikhi into umuntu angakwazi ukuyenza eshiwe yedwa nonembeza ngoba labu le dispensation uNkulunkulu waba shiya abantu asuke emhlabeni wahamba wathi sala nodwa niphile ngonembeza and that's when the earth became more corrupt and wicked Yathi niki i responsibility yakhona okay this is for seven yathi uNkulunkulu do well and accept you ukuthi ukuthi okay if you do well I will accept you So why is ngulukulu if you do well I'm going to accept you but what did men do Cain defied God Number 2 Cain built a city kwaqali polygamy polygamy qale ngale sesikhathi ngesikhathi isani ka Cain ulilameke thatha two wives and there's a song about that His father killed one man Abel yena wabulala more than one and he makes a song ku Genesis chapter number 4 which my father killed one and I met that many He called his wife to come and listen to his song and that time was the most awful one because they rebelled against God and what did God do he sent a worldwide flood When the flood came they destroyed the whole world and then uno was commanded to build the ark and the ark am seen this i learned the mount are attached and that began another dispensation a bizo a human government genesis 9 uthi nkulunkulu uno wa uthi ngesikhathi ephuma utho bulala ngenkemba uyofa ngenkemba that is capital punishment it was introduced there because it was that time la nkulunkulu atha ngisafuna ukugovernisha umuntu let a man govern another man I will no longer be part of your affairs. You choose. But he commanded at him, fill the earth and do what? Multiply. Benza nabantu bakithwa yase Babel bathi sohlala sonke la sigcwalisa imhlaba. We are not filling the earth. We are going to dwell in this one tower and we are going to make prayers there until we touch the heavens. We are heaven to second heaven. So they wanted to contact fallen gods. Because that tower they built there, uthi uNkulunkulu abantu bankhize yonye ngeke baze bavinjwe ngalutho. Meaning the purpose in their hearts ukuthi bazoka ke tower ifike ezulwini. When you study uh, logically, you know what you can't build a tower that will reach heaven. Literally. 
So that, that structure is called a ziggurat. It, it's an ancient Mesopotamian structure. Ababewaka, Mabenge, Nagio, you were able to touch the heavens through your spirit. So it's a worship structure. Mabet, let's build a tower that reaches to the heavens. But let's open a portal so that we can touch the heavens. So what they were doing was they were inviting fallen gods into earth. That's why in Genesis 11, he let go of all the nations was Israel. Because he disinherited the nations with Genesis chapter number 11 and he chose Israel. That's why Genesis 12, he loses 70 nations and in Genesis 12, he begins trying to build another nation through Abraham. So that is a, 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 a human government. It judgment yayo yaiti abantu bazo divide to when God saw good bank is yonye. What did God do? He said, Let us go down and confuse them. So the confusion of tongues. Are you here? The confusion of tongues was a judgment. Then it is position in the human government. Yapela was a kalukunukule tembiso Abraham. Uchwe mnigeta. Kule umbe wizizwe zonke. Ziyobu siswa. Mezi ziyobu siswa. He means job as la shekak 70. It is through this nation that he will win them back. But he's going to use a seed from this new nation to bring all nations back to him. Since he lost them through confusion of tongues. So he plan of with my nations through Jesus Christ was declared in Genesis chapter number 12 to Abraham. In Agonis Babel, the scripture for so the salvation that was going to come and began preaching the gospel to Abraham. And Abraham believed by faith and it was accounted to him righteousness. Well, Abraham, though he lived with dispensation a promise, why and drama benefits a dispensation a grace which is a happy. Faith is not only able to bring things down from heaven, it is also able to cause you to live in times to come. That's why we can taste of the powers of the world to come. Because through faith can stretch you to dispensations that are still going to come. Imagine no Abraham a pillar with dispensation a promise, but he was able to skip all dispensations. I will take away grace. I will not be long. I will figure and see. I will not be long. I will see the devil on the table. Give me the charge. So, in this position, he had promise. When the dispensation of promise was ended, how did it end? The promise was taken from Abraham. What did the unknown and the unknown Abraham go to share this with? How did he get on the corner? But every now and then, what did Abraham do? He went down to Egypt. Abraham kept on going down to Egypt. I figured, this is not my wife, this is my sister. He command, stay in Canaan. Don't go down to Egypt. But Abraham kept on going there. Even when his son Isaac came, he was at the same threat. He was at the same time. Because they couldn't stand if a Isaac, stay here and plant. In the same year, you'll reap a hundredfold. And how did God judge them? He sent them to Egypt. Praise the name of Jesus. They went to Egypt. And from Egypt, Bashala for 400 years, Mofunu Genesis 15 16, because the land was from Bezoshala, you know, to Israel, you know, to Israel, you know, you know, to Israel, you know, to Israel, you know, to Israel, you know, to God wanted to train Israel in front of the Amorites. He wanted them to grow like Egypt. Egypt, This is the more they were persecuted, is the more banda. God did not hide them to train them. He trained them right under the nose of their oppressors. So he could have done the same thing, but now go It seems like you love Egypt. He just take you and keep you there. For 400 years. Then in the fourth generation, when the cup of iniquity of the Amorites is full, I will only deliver you from Egypt. And Moses came, delivered them. Mabe Puma, what are the dispensation here, law? Hallelujah. The dispensation of law began. In law and prophets were up until the times of John. When John came, the law and the prophets ended. What are the dispensation here, grace? Now we must understand something, Basalwa. 
one thing you know to know talent ke khulumayo ukuthi each dispensation is ended by a particular event ayi ke dispensation e dissolve ayo there must be an event that ends the dispensation but number two, you must understand that there must be an interlude between dispensations and in job of man the second layer 6 we are there with dispensation ebizwa get third age we are with dispensation ebizwa get dispensation of grace now ngifuna ngamshange sibuka ukuthi what is going to end this dispensation hallelujah because we've seen kula previous ukuthi yonke dispensation iqedwa yi event what is going to end our dispensation hallelujah hallelujah if you can see that leaky line there strip there both after church upalu tribulation i'm praying for grace for seven as i'm teaching i'm praying because we must get today we must win today that leaky red strip there is tribulation uma kuphela le dispensation ye grace so all these cuts is going to tribulation it's going to take 7 years let's just cut kula baba bala tsala tsata sonke sphathe into kubala because if i can stand you up ngithi say what i've said here you won't be able to say it so you can't just come to church to it's not entertainment we are here to learn so please baba bala let's bring something to right one Hallelujah. Tribulation is how many years? Seven years. It's going to follow right after the church age. But namkhani ngifuna sibuka ukuthi yini ezovala le dispensation esikiyona. Le ebizwa nge church age. Hlambe to for us to see that who is that tribulation aimed at? Jeremiah 30 verse number 7. Jeremiah 30 verses number 7. Praise God. Demanded verse number seven. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Yes, tribulation. tribulation is great. I look I look who I I if you take apartheid, you take the Jewish Holocaust, you take a, 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 a Nazi regime, you take all the times, let's get a point, World War One, World War Two combined together. Utu Jesse Penya Lezo Pat, Ngegi is the figure, Uli Penya Lezo Pat, seven years. It's gonna be a short seven years, but with extreme pain that man has never felt in his life. So, it's tribulation number one, which is going to be so great, so that there is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. So, what Jeremiah he says emphatically here, what he purpose the tribulation is not us, but it is for Jacob. Because the sons of Jacob who was renamed to become Israel. So, one, this time is appointed for the truth. And I will show you just now why she appointed Lama Judah. Because, Mina Nawe, no me tribulation is of Sabala Lumshaba Wonke. Go the end, Gamkulungulunga, yo, Jacob. It's not everyone, it's Jacob. And you must get that now. And you must know how this is going to affect the whole world. Matthew 24, verses number 21. Matthew 24, verses number 21. 24, 21, Matthew. Oh my God. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. Yes? Of the world to this time, no, no, ever shall be. So, this time is going to be the climax of suffering, it's going to be the zenith of pain. The pain that is going to be felt here can never be compared with any other time. Now, we must, we must understand, Bazalwana. Are you, are you, are you here? 
Ufuna zinde funele si understand they will see si understand they yonke le tengi kulma. The Bible is such a precious book. And the moment you begin understanding it, 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 it upgrades your relationship with God. It upgrades your relationship with God. Mafunda u Romans 11 verse number 25. Romans 11 verses number 25. Romans 11 verses number 25. Because ukulukulu from Iskat Abraham has been dealing with one nation. Na ngukulukulu dealer no Israel. Uze wendi sibone longo komer umfazga Hosea. Uthi ku Hosea hamba uye hamba yo thathu umfazi manje muprophet wami. Uthi Hosea hawu ngiyabonga. Uthi but masi yombeka uphume uye emgaqweni. La gesha khona ngomzimba. Look for the most fair wife there. Hayo udlulayo someone who's trading there. Take that person My you are telling I not know I'm thinking so when I join this back you are not here. So when that um fast. Ma what you will um chat when I ain't in fum gas. Um lobole. We have pay the bright price for her. Ma better take her home with you. Shall it not? It's a baby and below when the water to come here or hamba na ye. Wazala bantuan. Funu bonu kulu kulu se. He 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 messes up one family just to speak to a nation. Kuze wazala bantuan. We have a camp. I have called Israel is rebelled against me. Kamalenga anele. Kuze just wale family just to speak to this nation. This is how much I love this nation. So he takes this man, this woman, hamba na yo. My figure na yo engine. We ashala na little Bible one day. My vugo zaya ge kukomer. My we kubi ompega ngabo buye lemzini ntwa kage kona. Ah ibu upumfas. But our day is mbonem kakun lae kona. What was there? Maybe we opega bang and back. We oba chase him pillow ingaba ngon. My figure mkakwe numga ke ufage the very same clothes I is koge mshanga na na ye. Utai sa ngomzimba ke. Wakalu Hosea. My kalu nkulukulu ya fia gene bisu kutu kalela na Hosea. Uti my wife is cheating on me. Uti this is the pain I feel about Israel. Every day. Because who is the lufana nse ne prostitute. She leaves me. She goes and she commits adultery with other gods. Deskate konza banyo kulukulu. She commits adultery. So God is dealing with this nation from the time of Abraham up until the time of Christ but kuthema sefika isikhathi sika Jesu wase unkulunkule bona ukuthi lesi sizwe ngisincenge isikhathi eside let me use another strategy to deal with them the strategy i'm going to use is to cause them to be jealous ma ufundu no me to 21 sizo yabona ufundu ubona ukuthi for will not brethren that you should be ignorant of this mystery there are seven mysteries in the new testament one of them is the blindness of israel This is a mystery that I will not let you be ignorant of this mystery lest you should be wise in your own content. That blindness in part is happened to Israel. So what God did is that he blinded the Jews when Jesus came so that they don't see him as the Messiah. Ngoba mayeza weza kokwakhe. Kodwa abakha bamamkelanga why ngoba ngamamkelanga because blindness is happened. So the captain of blindness am a Judah do they want to imagine uni godim what put you in the separate uni godim what you just must be born again what uni godim how can i go back to my mother's womb and come out again being an old man the man was inside already but the blindness prevented him the young rich ruler came to Jesus yet the rabbi what shall I do to be saved he stood in front of life what do you just go and sell everything you have and give to the poor the man went back and did not obey the command of the Lord he missed life in being in the work because blindness has happened to the Jews so the people blind they couldn't receive Jesus as the Messiah even though they wanted to receive him they couldn't receive him why when they get blindness it born it is so that the fullness of the Gentiles may come in so when God sent Jesus it was for the truth God against Katamba came and rejected 
second coming is not coming through a horse, a, a, a cult. Go back and let him spiritual, who let him political. That's why he's going to enter it through a horse. Who will go sing and when he's territory give any ass, he's declaring him a war from one side. So this Jerusalem, Belbusha, or Pila to no Caesar, and who just with you, who would you have been Kule, Labeti, Hosanna? Bengalis into pants, Nayangan and Gehash. In Piga Kesarezo for me today is a king. So he chose the call to say, To show what I'm not, I come in peace. But the second one is not, not going to come through a cult. He's not going to come through a donkey. He's going to come through a horse because his coming will be a blood and open declaration of war. So you need to understand why I'm a Judah and as long as I'm a Let's go to Luke chapter number 4, verses number 14. Luke chapter 4, verses number 14. Luke 4, verse number 14. Uchige wonu Luke 4, verse number 14. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. Verse 15. And he taught in their synagogues being glorified. Let's flow with this one. And he came, notice this, to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his costume was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. So, Ujesu ngena kwi synagogue, Bosu gile sabata, Utete kuba ni encounter mo no mo ingwele, and after that ni encounter no satan. He comes back in the power of the Spirit. When he comes into his own city, la apulele kona, litwa ene kasto mu Jesu aye konza. And any minister in Iowa said the son to him because he stood up to read as his custom was, meaning his school Yes, let's flow with this one. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Now, the Bible was not combined at this time, there were scrolls. So being the scrolls of Jeremiah, it's out there, it's the Badia, it's out there, the Fania, all of them. So when he came, they randomly handed him a scroll because they were doing a series. And the baby is no prophet to Isaiah. So they handed him a scroll to read. So they handed him a scroll to read. And when he opened the scroll, he found a place. This place was written, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. Eh? Let's flow with this one. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. And to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Go over verse 17. And after Funele further to preach the acceptable year of the Lord, Lizzie, he closed the book. And after closing the book, he gave it to the minister and he sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. Now, why the book of the synagogue is not in the synagogue? The synagogue is not in the synagogue. The synagogue is not in the synagogue. So no one sat in the chair. So Jesus tell me that the funeral is not in the synagogue. And remember, let me end on a kubo. And the prophet is without honor only in his own town. So just make sure now, Abu Maria, now Baba Kwa Abu Nusra Kwa Abu, now Abu Malu me bend down, now Abu Abanda Baba Mazi, Akulele Pamu Abu. When God was with Jesus, why you shall pant? Let him make sure come Kolozel. Madam Kolozel, let's have mercy. What are you doing? You've been here, you know. Who the Sabbath is so when he said to Jesus, from this day, this scripture is fulfilled. Do verse 21. verse number 21. And he began to say unto them, this day, is this scripture fulfilled in your ears? What is this scripture fulfilled in your ears? What is this scripture fulfilled in your ears? What is Never read it again. Because it is fulfilled before your eyes. So, 
But you know, just no time like Christ. The man you've been waiting for, I am him. Now we need to see why I brought you here. Let's go to Isaiah 61. You come to tell me if you just to connect the phrase with me to preach the what? Acceptable year of that. What's in the name of Allah? Let's go to Isaiah 61. This is Isaiah 61. So, just what under this portion of scripture? This is the portion of scripture I read. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. So, so understand that I'm going to offer Peter chapters number one, offers number ten. Uma etu Peter, the prophets inquired of this salvation and of the things that the spirit of Christ, which was in them, spoke when it spoke of the sufferings of the Messiah, that Lord they should follow the after. Kutua, babet mabet kutu propheta. Jengo izala, izawa ebele. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed by Jesus. This show yena ganti. Umkulunkulu umbolege amakama zoshiwa uchesu. So a prophetic ministry will transport him from his own time to the times of Christ. My first time of Christ, I only percent, I only future. I ask you for what a child will be. Who for what a child is born? I ask you the son will be given. Who the son is given? Who could have seven hundred years before the birth of Christ? God, the, through the realms of the spirit and spirit of prophecy, was transported to the future. Now that like you went to the future, wa kuluma mazo zo shi oches, go da masebe kuyele konde ni abo, be fun da maskrol za abo. That's why prophets had scribes. Scribes, scribes, Jeremiah u Baruch. Amen. U Baruch was responsible, look pala yon kite shi o, u Jeremiah yon chronically down. So, what meant by da masebe ku iza e sekpele is scroll u scribes. I could borrow me what I said. Now if you want to respond to that, let's get the research diligently. What was I saying? I want a prophetic ministry. Sometimes what the prophet says may make sense to no one. Now. But may make sense in a month's time. Or in two years. When one who fulfills it finally comes. Now, he, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek, he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and to the opening of the prisons to them that are bound. Yes. Take me up a bit. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Why you bala? We are bound up the Lord Kony Koma. It's in the writing of the com. And the day of vengeance of our God and to comfort all that moon. So what Jesus is the not acceptable of the Lord. It's because we first coming here and I say, What if for now I'm not here for vengeance? I'm here to do good things and to operate in grace. So, my son, the God of Allah, who should for this portion of time and corner, I'm sure this is what I'm going to do. But when it comes, this book is going to be open again so that he concludes. And begins to bring vengeance to all the enemies. But if it's coming at you, in a co im nanti shumeli vangel, sima la pambi singing about in go bagusa menyezelunyaga womu saga jehova. There is gonna come a day where there will be no preacher to call you to Christ. There will be no preacher to call you to repentance because it won't be a day of the acceptable year, but it will be a day of vengeance. Now, I'm a true Amen. So they are blinded for a season and for a time. When all Gentiles are gathered, then all Israel, walk with Israel, look at Israel, my boy, our people are pillar, who's a sedition. All Israel is going to be saved. Walk with them, Judah. Also, pillar, who's a boy, Jesus. Who just my come with a very mafin. Walk with them, Judah. The time is going to be saved. That is according to the scriptures. Is as if this is verse eight. What can a nation be born in one day? What yes, when Zion traveled, she brought forth her first kids. Get cut up a figu chase, little mechonka umborn, and alababa mkwazai. Matsu laba mkwaza la baba mkwaza litera la basa eko se bafa. Kot again la ye kama ba li show get cut to sebe to lotu pila do. Do I kill this man? Atama juda yes. Let his blood be upon us and upon our children. So ingane zabo zi guilty as they were of the blood of Christ. 
because they impose that judgment upon them and their kids. So my book they are gonna see him and all nations are going to mourn is this is wrong and then all Jews that are alive are going to be saved. And for you guys, you can see the Lord is alive. If you want to see the Lord, you can see the Lord is alive. So that we are able to continue tomorrow. Hallelujah. Come back to the Lord's tribulation. Give me A3. Give me A3. A3. It's not clear as well. Hallelujah. Now, Mr. Chippy, something is not right with my mind. Praise the name of Jesus. Lead this on to us, and I can't be shouting. So, to your shy, such a thing in our voice. <clears throat> so, please, team, just try to get that balance. We might come. Daniel 9, verses number 24. Daniel 9, verses number 24. I'm Daniel 9, verse 1 and 2. I'm about to close. You can close this because it's not clear. Daniel 9, verse 1 and 2. In the first year of Tyrus, the son of Asuras, of the seed of Damedes, which was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans. Yes. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by what? By books. The number of what? Of years. Where of the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. So he understood by the books of prophet Jeremiah. Now let's go to Sibon Uti. He is found with Daniel. He is found with understand. He catch. Jeremiah 25, verse number 11. Because he understood here, it is going to take 70 years. Stay here, stay here. Uti, where of the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet, that he will accomplish how many years? Seventy years in desolation of Jerusalem. So, Jeremiah, Jerusalem is going to be desolate for seventy years. And Jeremiah began prophesying these things. But he prophesied to Jeremiah, he said, prosperity. Men were buying lands. People were prospering. Amasima, the keeper. There was happiness. In Omo Bezizala, in full, your livestock farming was do. Everyone was doing great stock market. Everything was kicking. And Jeremiah comes. He says, "This land is going to be destroyed." And the people are saying, "Ah, there you go." In Aku Jeremiah, he's on a lamenting prophet because my prophet was a kalebona bank benga muzu. In what they are lamentations, in what they are what they dedicate to kale, in what kala dila. So he would prophesy and people would not hear him. At one time, a priest struck him on his mouth. He would never again prophesy in your name. Because he would never again prophesy in But I can't stop prophesying. Because this thing is shut up in my bones like fire. So he was compelled and forced to prophesy. But it's something that he didn't want to do. So Nala, who Daniel gets cut and said to Joe Babylon, he started searching for prophecies. He started reading books. He says, Condemn me, Nale Sima, Exon, Utukulukula, Kulman, and Galet. When he started reading, he began understanding by the books. Which we are not going to stay here forever. We are only here for 70 years. We are going to come out after 70 years. Mokunu Jeremiah chapter 25, verses number 11. Jeremiah 25, verse number 11. Put and this whole land shall be a desolation and an astonishment, and this nation shall serve the king of Babylon. How many years? Seventy years. Jeremiah 29, verses number 10. Jeremiah 29, verses number 10. We are dealing with Israel here. For thus said the Lord that after seventy years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and I will perform my good work towards you in causing you to return to this place. So God says, I'm going to come back and visit you. This is where verse 11 comes in. I know the plans I have for you. God was addressing a nation that was about to go to captivity. I want 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 to go to captivity. I want
God will a prosperous end. Hallelujah. So, let's go to verse 24 of Daniel 9. Verse 24 of Daniel chapter 9. So that we understand. Lord, give me the spirit of understanding. The spirit of wisdom and of knowledge in Jesus' name. Seventy weeks are determined upon your people and upon your holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sin and to make reconciliation for iniquity. Now, who said I go Gabriel because Daniel was praying? Who Daniel now go seventy years of pale, but I don't see you moving, God. You are not raising a prophet. You are not raising a deliverer. But I've understood by the books who is cut so shallow of seven years. What is happening? And then an angel was sent to him by the name Gabriel. Matthew Gabriel, you going to know it's not seventy anymore. It's four hundred and ninety years. But lo four hundred and ninety years. Akse wa no se Babylon. Se wa kupewa Israel impilo ya keon. So Israel is gonna suffer for 490 years. Ama kosa zo be shinchana ngaye. Zo nmetra du kusa. Nebket neza ngenu Belshazzar. Aftu Belshazzar ngenu Dairas. Aftu Dairas ngenu Cyrus. Aftu Cyrus ngenu Xerxes. Kings are gonna keep exchanging hands. Foreign kings. Because he promised Abraham was pertaining land. It had to do with land. So in Genu Kulukula Beba Panishanga, I may break his covenant was to take them out of the land. Because the land was a reward of Abraham's obedience, which was an obedience of faith. So in Jal Mobet to Sobe Kulukulukulukulukulu Beba Putri land. He called Nindo Eba Eba is striking point, no man Eba is Eba sacred about your covenant with God. Whenever you fault in the covenant, God takes away the thing. It can be a anointing, it can be miracles, it can be signs and wonders, it can be favor, whatever becomes the foundation of your covenant. Once you break the covenant, God removes that thing until you return. He, he removes the thing until you return. So, for the Abrahamic model, it, he promised I was a Palestine, a Palestine, which is the land of Israel. Lehmanje, Esheli, Amasans of Esau. Because God was their king. They rejected God the Son. They rejected God the Holy Spirit. Stephen, how long will you resist the Holy Spirit? So they rejected the whole Trinity. We don't want the Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit. We don't want to be ruled by God. And so, Ukulukuli had to take them out of the land. But he says 70 weeks. Now, there are weeks of Palela Paya. It's not a week of days. It's a week of years. Okay? So, mighty, one week, we should put seven years. Two weeks, 14 years. Because it's not a week of days. And it's a week to like you are how many days? So, la, you remove days from this week. You put a year. Instead of a day, it's a year. So mighty seven, seventy weeks. Ushuguti ama viga of seven. Shoot all seven abang aglaba. Where are my mathematicians? All seven abang aglaba. About seven. Because a week is of how many days? But we are dealing with a week of what year? So a week is how many years? Seven years. Don't be afraid. Seven years. So mighty seventy weeks. Two to seven years, about to seven. What does that make? Four nine. So, my city is seven times seven. How many years do we have? Kulman numbers alone. 490 years. So, what took Gabriel Gashi Gashi? Him Yaga of 419 Begelo Yonanina. Enzo Shushama course. Guy. Ne Israel, no, ne Jerusalem. But these years are here to finish transgression, to make an end of sins, to make reconciliation for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness, 
and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy place. These are the things you can accomplish. Are you sure? Okay. Are you sure? Okay. Praise God. Take it up a bit, guys. Also to accomplish the season of six, go go to for 490 years under the hands of foreign kings. This one it seems worse. Verse number 25. Verse 25. Know therefore and do what? Know therefore and understand. Death from the going for the time to go to 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 the going for the day number one from the going for of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah. So, uti the day ni zwa kiwa, sen fumelege lupu yele Jerusalem nyo fusi ingange za kon. Uti the day, you will say day one. Ka how many years? 490 years. So, now he splits these years. I need someone who's gonna be very quick in counting for us. Someone who's gonna be very quick in counting for us. From the going forth of the commandment to restore and build Jerusalem, Unto the Messiah, the Prince, shall be how many weeks? Should says it is seven times. Seven. And in the four hundred and nineteen, if you spend the Ogumgan, it's going to be given to them in portions. So the first portion is seven weeks. Seven times seven. Forty-nine. So, forty-nine. Okay. And three score two weeks. 62 no? King James it's three score his score is 20 two scores is 40 three scores is 60 praise God now everybody bypel who's your bypel and three score in two weeks that is 62 weeks so it's 62 times 7 times 62 Uban lab 434 so, you know, 49, man, it. Loga 7 times 7. Sibe no bani, no 484. Loga 62 times 7. Otige, the street shall be built again in the wall, even in troublous times. We are going to go to the wall, and we are going to go to the wall, and to go He told them, that is 434 years before Wednesday. Otima se wa kiwi ndonga, there will be troublous times. Kiba kono san palati, no tobiya, will be tormenting you. But nevertheless, the streets are going to be built. Next verse. Next verse. Verse 26. Oti, after three score and two weeks, shall Messiah be cut off. What is Obatia and Ogutu Jesu of Anin? Oti, from now, Jesu of Anin, in 434 years. That's why in Gitama Judah, they couldn't get born again because they were blinded. All the information was there. Everything was given to them. So he says the Messiah shall be cut off, but not for himself. Now we must add 49 plus 434 because the Onamnya is a city to lead. Usala, how many years? Then must it be 490 minus 483 Salaba? That is where the tribulation of seven years comes from. Because they've served 483 years. Sebe Salaba, how many years? Ilona kunkunkula zo kwalisa the time of Jacob's troubles. Are you following me? So the tribulation is o eda kuma Jews kufo eti trauma Jews so that they fulfill their time of suffering and after that then and only then can they be delivered. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Na ungifuna spuga kuti yini eyenza unkulu unkulu ayeke ukuqhubekisi wa Shlama Judah because leli wa Shlama Judah will speak fluently all along but why did God pause this watch ku 483 verse 7 ma Judah 7 years in your way you know yini eyenza unkulu unkulu ayeke ukudila nama Judah because all these years God has been dealing with the Jews for 483 years so when I was cut his cut and yet God all of a sudden Ukulukula Veluama and he has been not dealing with the Jews for over 2,000 years 
kumkuluwa yeki la matuta ezi ndando yao mayesi maumanga shuwe Jerusalem uye uwe ili mwol you will cry tears because you will find a matuta kona ena matiseli mtanda zoto mwene ishu tega oto mwene ayati ulati hosana hosana save us save send a messiah they think the messiah is still gonna come ebu chesa hamba pakwa abo They couldn't see him. They couldn't hear him. They couldn't recognize. Who oh, this is our promised Messiah because of the blindness that happened to them. Then Jesus said to turn to the Gentiles. Then Nkulunkulu started a new administration on the earth. Hey, amen. The one who shall answer you administration through the Jews. I have found a new home called the church. Now, even Yage, I will be placing you Israel. God give us the administration, the steward, the pastor, the economy, everything will get grace. Le ukulumula isebenzi sa yukila nomshaba. The church is a steward of the administration model called grace. So nanti ukulumuta isa umat. He poured the wash la majuta. But I said, Jews, I will see you. I'm still dealing with the with the church. You must understand the church. The church is bigger than you think it is. Oh, brother. The church is bigger than what you think it is. Ibanga likhulu complex. You know, ebangeni unkulunkulu joine ama Jews na ama Gentiles. Amen. And it could only be possible ukuthi bekhona corner stone. Amen. Because these two don't join. So God placed the corner stone Yabamba lodo nga yabamba nalo so that God could can have a house because you can't mix the Jew and the Gentile a Gentile serves foreign gods a Jew serves Jehovah I hope you know ukuthi amajuda wana e culture i really culture ya religion because bazalwa ubaba wokukholwa when they were born God had begun a new nation ukuthi phume ezweni lakini meaning leave the cultures become neutral mas exalisis was was am cultures are terra sasu jehova he is the god of abraham isaac and jacob so he inherited that he saw abraham glonisi kumkulunkulu so um juda may as jehova i know the so the culture umthetho um juda glonisi inkonzi constitution uize lutavnishwe in law of god Now you miss that person on that whole portal of the ngabi nabanye unkulunkulu umhlanganisa nomuntu ono unkulunkulu laba u1000 It's only possible through having Christ as a cornerstone Ujesa alamula phansi kwa nokunkulu uphela kodwa ulamula phansi ezizwe He settles his peace between the nations spirit Maybe I wanna he said there wa bona uthe esekazi sihlu. He saw Jesus dividing bread. Uthi lo ka ngamwela ngakubantu ngakamela ekosini ngokusuka kashela ngabo phakamithi sitsha. He saw the whole thing happening. He saw everything happening though Paul was not there. But he saw it happening. So he was given the revelation of the church. And masebu yana revelation yebanja he began disseminating the same to everyone the church is made up of Jews and of Gentiles and Jesus is the what the cornerstone sing a verse about just give me a few minutes of your time Jesus is the cornerstone so if tribulation is for the Jews but it's going to touch the whole earth in the vimbelo seven years the present the back what does this mean It means for God to be able to deal with the Jews the church must be removed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that is how 
I want us to enter into a rapture. Because I want to show you why the rapture. Why the rapture. Why the rapture. Because many people, I was reading some article, even today I came across an article. There are people who are so bold who will go to the internet without gathering facts. This guy is going out there is saying he, 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 he doctrinal rapture was permitted by Margaret Darby in the 18th century because she saw a vision. Abantu bechwitu abanye besala bekala. Use tige this doctrine was not taught before. Use it was not taught before. Give me a one day. Use it was not taught before. In Karufunde said because of history. Though the doctrine of the rapture is taught in the Bible, but there are people who want to pervert truth. This is a quote from one of the church fathers, Ephraim of Nisbis. He was a Syrian. If you have time, you can search his writings. They are very powerful. He was a poet. Hallelujah. He was a poet. He preached the gospel through poetry. Now he says this, because there are three different views when it comes to rapture. Okay, Basil one. You know, seven years. Can I have two guys, please? Two, two guys. Can I have a third one? Tell me, Lapaya. Okay, must. Who me, Lapaya? Must go get third guy. Thank you, sir. Tell me, Lap. At the center. From here to here is three and a half years. From here to here is another three and a half years. Combined is seven years. From here to here is what we call the tribulation. From here to there is what we call the great tribulation. Okay. Now there are different views. Koni view a biblical eti ibanga lizo shuicho before kala liskat. Ngere lize linge nila. And I just taught you why. Because the seven years don't stop playing. The seven years. And why did God stop dealing with the Jews? It's because the church was born. So for God to focus again on the Jews, He must take the church out. Because because had it been possible for God to deal with the church and the Jews at the same time, He will be doing it now. So since I went on, because it's impossible. Why is it impossible? Because young man, there is no true or Greek, but a new man in Christ. So God must remove that administration as dismantle Shubuzwe. Because he can't deal with me as a Gentile. Because when I'm in Christ, I'm a new creature. Creature means nationality. Creature means behavior. Creature means ethnicity. That's why I have a new tongue in Christ. Because when I'm in him, I'm not a Jew, I'm not a Zul, I'm not a Zenda. I am a new man. No more than you hear, I'm a new man. I'm a new man before. If you trace me, you should be able to come away. Because the cross, you won't find me there. So I am a Gentile before the cross. You are a Jew before the cross. But after the cross, it's a new man. So, who is a new man? So this system must be removed so that God can begin dealing with the man calling him a Jew. Because right now we can't call a man a Jew. Because Paul said the true Jew is a Jew at heart. Oh, Vazalonaba. So this teaching teaches Utibanyazo Shitwala. But the catch in Revelation 3 verses, okay, she had she had writing, it's fine. She had writing. Who Revelation 3 verse 10, what you will learn the Islam look bigger than I'm in your clone and your own local Shabong. Because you have kept my word of perseverance, I will also keep you, Lord, keep pushing with it to take you out from the hour of temptation that is going to come upon the whole earth. So to just say again, oh my little Ndoloze is the lack of the gazelle. Now your little Ndoloze, we will see you in the holy glory of the Lord. So the church comes out here, but there are people about whom this I know, about him and his own girl, and your daughter, 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 and your And they use in First Corinthians 15, verse 52-51, to Paul, in a moment in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. 
and there's going to be seven trumpeters of a sound alert. So one is Quebec. But it, at the last one, because the last trumpet is going to sound here. But Paul couldn't have been speaking about this trumpet and revelation. Because the revelation was not given to him, but to John. And John wrote the book of Revelation after Paul died, 30 years after he died. So Paul was not speaking about this trumpet. Because Revelation 1 verse 1, which is the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show unto his servants, he did signify to John through an angel. So it's only John who received the book of Revelation. People who live before him, baby, now as a detail the tribulation. So that is what he said. But it is a seven years long. It is a little of human. Karatangulu consistent. Before the floods, he took Enoch out. Before fire came upon Sodom, he took Lot out. God always delivers the Russians. He always delivers the Russians before when they get Uzwela makukunwa ngesikesike ngomlilo ophindwe kangaki. Mm. Kwakhona abantu nobani phakathi? Shedrack. Where was Daniel? Where was Daniel? Do you think Daniel bowed? He didn't bow. But what Daniel signifies those who are not going to bow, who won't even be there when the event of this very famous is multiplied seven years. They won't even be part of the thing. So, even Galibu has to go to the land of Israel. No, 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 no. No! God cannot judge the just and the unrighteous at the same time. All who will be able to go to the land of Israel. God will take out his righteous church so that the whole world and Israel can go through. Now there are people who deny the rapture at all. They are saying there is no rapture. And you ask them, how did Jesus leave earth? How did Jesus leave earth? Was our Lord not raptured to heaven? How did Elijah leave earth? How did Enoch leave earth? So all Christ of Abraham will not be the first. Because God has done it before. So this is what Ephraim said. Ephraim said, for all the saints, and elect of God are gathered prior as the we are before the tribulation that is to come and are taken to the Lord lest they see the confusion that is to overwhelm the world because of our sins but this, this, when did this guy live? 303 AD to 373 AD this was even before the 5th century the 10th century the 15th century so there are people who come and say the 18th century by Margaret Praise God. That woman saw a vision of the rapture. And I have countless videos I've watched of people living in little kids who had a vision of the rapture. They saw the church being taken out. Whoever the Lord, do not be deceived. Thank you very much, Jacob. Do not be deceived by the times ne lucrativity as cut as pilaxona, ne luxury, ne convenience, no bumna ni boxona. And think that we are going to be here forever. Jesus has not changed his message. His message is still the same even today. You know why? There are people who come into the church, they come for breakthrough. There are people who come to the church, they come for blessing. They come so that their business will prosper. They come so that their giftings will be sharp. They come so that they can associate with the church because it might happen that doors will be opened for them in life because of the people they connect with the church. There are people who come for association. It's easy to join a church and become a member of a local church and not become a member of the Board of Christ. And I want to speak to everyone who's here today. The greatest mistake you can ever make is to be part of a local body who is in our world. It is to receive a breakthrough from God. 
uyitholi ithende uthole umsebenzi uthole umuzi uthole umshadi uyitholi imali uyitholi imoto kodwa konke lokho noma kuza kuvela enkosini remember uNkulunkulu une tendency yokunethisa imvula kwababi nabahle so the fact that you are receiving rain does not mean you are accepted in God's eyes it means the providence of God is unto all humanity and all creation uNkulunkulu uphakele ingonyama ehlanu uNkulunkulu Look at the lilies of the valley day. God blesses them more than you, but they are here today and they are gone tomorrow. So breakthrough is not a sign that you are in Christ. But Father, this is high time that everyone begins to acknowledge and know oh, there is a day that is approaching. It's approaching with so much speed. Paul who romans our salvation is more nearer than it was before we believed let me close with this scripture first Thessalonians 4 first Thessalonians 4 verse number 13 I will not have you to be ignorant brethren concerning them that are dead lela lithi that fall asleep but lo asleep ushukufu so that you are not in sorrow even as others which have no hope what is paul saying here uthi makufumzalwane ningabi kwisoro engathani nali ithemba uthi ningadabu nje ngabange nali ithemba leli ithemba khuluma ngalo lakhe yena uthi But there's a hope is being about here. Uthi don't cry as if there is no hope. Uma kufi khona. Uma kufoyedwa wethu sizoba in sorrow. Because they are our brother and sister. But to Paul asibe ne sorrow sibuye nganeno. Ngoba thina sinethemba. What is that hope? Verse 14. This is the hope. If we believe that Jesus died and rose again. So the hope is the resurrection. The hope is the resurrection. If Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Now this is how the rapture is going to happen. When Paul died, his head was cut off by a guillotine by Emperor Nero. Diocletian or Nero. Guillotine. How did Peter died? Who Jesus am kelo phethu athi masu mdala uyogqokiswa. Ma ugqokiswa. This is how you put your head. We told him you're going to die by the cross, you're going to be nailed. But when Peter was crucified, what did Peter? What did Peter tell us about the specs and Uze singafana nesenkosi yami. So he asked that he dies hanging head down so that he doesn't mimic his Lord. He wanted the death of Christ to be so honorable that no one ever dies in that fashion again. And what did they do to Philip? Philip was killed alive in India. He preached the gospel in India to such a point that abantu ababe so cause inyoka, amandi ayi cause inyoka bayigwaza bayibulala. Mase fika umnikazi wayi inyoka de banikeze ukuthi bayikhonze, they were so angry. Philip what to this cool the pillar skin, all his skin. Ah, but when they come Then they were buried. But the moment they died their spirit went to heaven. Oh yeah. Immediately. They went to heaven. Litige those even saw them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. This is very important. Because in Zimba yabila emhlabeni. Kodwa moya wabo sezulwini. Kuthiwa ke when Jesus comes back he's going to bring the dead. He's going to bring them with him. Yes, verse number 15. Verse 15. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive. Before no one would rapture was so imminent, 
to a point to Paul Lagash would say them which will be alive with we meaning he expected it in his own time. Now imagine if Paul expected it in his own, own time, how much closer it is now. If Paul said that that the day of the Lord is so close, God then has sent his Kazak. Because we which are still alive, because of all who Paul he expected good Nangeraza. We who are still alive and remain, Utu Paul I'm gonna remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them with them which are asleep. Utu I'm not gonna I'm gonna remain until the day of the Lord because they, they will feel. That's why I'm not being Lena Bazalwa name with New Testament Babeti Maranata. Babe na shuguti sa uwo, babe marana to marana to shuti, uguti come, Lord Jesus, come. Because the spirit and the bride says what? Says come. So when they greet one another, they will say marana, the meaning Jesus come. So also Paul, we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord, we will not prevent them which are asleep. La baba file ngere tina si zesi shui chuku pala gunabo. Ngoba mina na we spilayo. Sing a file, si zogwenza galelo ilente tu kukulo we mizimba. Because in heaven, lo mizimba can't survive. I can't go to heaven with this body. No Elijah no Enoch, they are kept there as canons of anointing. Zofuna ngaboku zakaraya for they are they maoba buge zulima fana ne shake mbili the olive and olive is where the anointing comes from. They are kept there as preservers of anointing, and they are still gonna come back to earth. As we journey during the week, you will see. We in our know they are still gonna come back. Not their spirit visible. Yeah. They are still gonna come. You will see in the scriptures. Now we we are alive. We are not gonna prevent them from sleep. So this is what's gonna happen before our bodies are transformed. Philippians four, verse number twenty one. our conversation is not here on earth, but it is in heaven, where also we await for the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall come and change our bodies. So is salvation your body justification? It's for your spirit. As it is sanctification, it's for your souls. Yeah, man, the soul is a good period of sanctification. But the last phase of salvation is glorification is for your body. The last member of your being that's going to encounter salvation is your body. And no Zimba is going to be transformed. Father, no Zimba like this. Now, when Jesus was born, he did not come, he appeared. That's why people look at angel. It's an angel appeared. An angel does not come. An angel appears. I travel the veil. So that kind of a word is going to be given to all those who believe in Christ at His coming. Go to our Sizo Bukulumi Zimba. Then I have to say, "Kala la baba lele mukhesu ches." Now, what is the verse number sixteen? What verse sixteen says? For the Lord Himself shall descend from where? From heaven. With the shouts, with the voice of the archangel, and with the numbers of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Can you imagine a shout which is going to be so strong? As soon as this shout, there will be a loud shout from heaven. And there will be a loud sound of a trumpet. And there is going to be a loud voice of the archangel. And when this three things happen, no man, I will go to a place. Some people will go to a school. We are Zazi, we are Zom Zimba, we are Zapela. No man, I will go to a man. No man, I will go to a Shinswa. Wherever they are, the Lord knows where their body is. And this shout is going to be able to regather all the members of their body. And they are going to form the body. And the more you chase the is gonna enter the bodies, so that dead in Christ are gonna come back at the rapture. What they are coming for is to reclaim their bodies. There is nothing that belongs to a believer as long as he is in Christ that is going to remain in this earth. Not the spirit, not the soul, not even the body. Even if a believer dies in Christ, when the trumpet sounds, that body is going to be kept. I'll show you not to make a war on the earthquake. Eh? Little man, 
Babonale Jerusalem o David. Babonale Jerusalem Megida. They arose from the dead. When he arose from the dead, he arose as the first fruit. If he is the first fruit, it means there's going to be another harvest. No one can take a spaceship and leave earth as he wills and come back when he wants to. No one can take a spaceship and leave earth as he wills and come back when he wants to. Sasa fundi nde ni ngao fundi tumsha kuna makona. Konuzo bora le spie critical earth sa kuguti sinjani. Lo msha bo spina 62 million miles a day around the sun. Kote you can't feel it. Lo msha bo spina 107,000 kilometers per hour. Njenga amanti. Uhama hali so spida 107,000 kilometers per hour. Auzo wa kote. No mshabo is fear water when planes travel, they travel straight. They don't drop. The Lord established the earth upon foundations. The earth is firm, it shall not be moved. There are so many things. Oh, This is the time for truth. The pillar and ground of truth is the church, it's not signed. You are, we are still, it's a long week. It's a long week. You are, are going to see so much. I want you to be ready to deconstruct whatever you learn. If you are not born, you will have education to a Ranjan. But this is high time to touch that mountain. There are so many things that have been taught. Oh, my God. You know what the Holy Spirit said to me? He said to me, we think that the devil is only God's enemy as far as religion is concerned. He's God's enemy everywhere. He will infiltrate his doctrine at school. And the Lomisha is so hypertensive. Lomisha will run the office to our feet, I school in my office. He wants to drill it so much. And I'll show you why the devil is doing that. Which is so heavy, no kind of atmosphere, a speed of cut. Then the third one, he led to his own room of God. That is where God's throne is. You say I was born in the same place, and I was so round. So I'm gonna glow for you. Little then we which are alive and remain shall what? Now, what Jesus this one is gonna do? Because what we have in Gangkunungku. Layers cut. I'm a glass spill. A bizwang egg. About to meet the Lord where? In the egg. We read to Jess and Gaza out to Mishap. Uzo Sua is only less cut. I'm a glass spill. In the upper red, as Mishangabes, we are no Shangabes at Tina. Go back as the Mishabe Nuzola and Tina. Ikizos and Mazakata, the Colonel and Colobat. 
ekhala baba kunani nezindleni ngube njabe ngonithela ngihamba ngiyo lungiselela noma ngiqhedeka kuzo nani zobuya nginithathe ukuze la ngikhona nani nibe njani nibe khona John 14 simple scripture Jesus taught on rapture then now he says we which remain shall be what shall be caught up together with them so u Jesus omala mese la phansi kuvuka abafili dadeda kona rise all the saints Osim Frosa or Apollo or Polycarp they are gonna rise or Irenaeus or Clement all of them they are gonna rise all the great men of old Masiza la hlambe thino babungithi wo babubhimbo othilizo duma all these giants who said God or John D. Lake or William Branham you name them they are gonna rise so give the uncle who is we are gonna rise must add who vuga it trumpet will sound yes and the trumpet it came as so she is clearly the kaugan man trumpet call it trumpet in the commander on the tumeli from heaven when the trumpet sounds the commander will be sounding the whistle and he'll be saying it's kadi so
ni hypocrite engathi ne fruits kodwa masefike doza yiko maybe kwa bafaris kuti babona begqoka imjiva mayifika there is no fruit so figuratively he cast the tree in actual fact he was blinding the nation so uthi isizwe siyo izukula nesiyo ubona uze nje ubu dry usuqala uveza malivi uthi that generation will not pass away until all these things be fulfilled and when 1948 that tree started to show leaves go 2017 ngenxa manje there are Jews some Jews they discovered last year in Ethiopia by inzalo ye queen of sheba Because the Bible is about the people that are given to Solomon and the queen. Can you give them a bow? Hey, and the queen was going to say, "Just tell me." Because it opens all about one day. There were generations of Jews, so there are Jews that have been founded. Do you know what is the ten tribes of of from Judah? I was there with Ali. But when he took the tribe of Benjamin, not to be ten. But when you look at the tribes, Ankumbuli umuntu wathi mememe zwezeke lutho elinye ithambo lavela le elinye lavela le elinye lavela le Kuti they are rose and became a great army Historical jenga manje ama facts athi u Benjamin not to the pelo kona kodwa ithela u the truth it's not only those tribes that have tribes of Israel are preserved ngoko lodo lo uzi Israel akuzizi Ngakho nina amadoda nakaja ngoba ni edwa
Whereas the skin is showing the color of the room, about 15, the house is never too small. It's never too small. If it's your home, then as cool as my cat, I'm going to be like that. I'm going to get quite a chinky man. If it's your home, it's never small. You mean to tell me that earth can contain 7 billion people? Then God has made a mistake by sending more people. So they are saying they are looking for space and mass. But the thing is, this was Kuluma. Go back to Zobona Lafuti. Malfuiti Banja. One of the ways um, to explain that scenario. And how they are going to explain it is using those planets. You also have the millions of people missing. Fathers will have kids gone. Kids will have mothers gone. Friends will have friends gone. A believing driver will be raptured while driving. There'll be a mess. That's why the last great revival, last great revival is always even a little precious. Lizo Kutu Bangaseli is the go. Sibonarali Velu Alem Shabin, the Nuches Altat. In a Koraba to Bobeka Benu, Kabel Funa. Woman, I shoot a manja on Alfun. Sazwa jenga bantu ba shanya ba ba maskandal. Sazwa jenga bantu ba gula ba ba ngai mailing ba kulma. Sazwa jenga na essential savings. Kuvuli peka isi kwa kuvali sonto lesi kwa sopila kutoa we are non essential. But before the church is taken out of this, she will be recognized as an essential service. She will be giving. We are ukumbuli nutiti wa isi zezi ukupugele tabe nengi wa Jehovah. So it is full the same is in Yelazake. Just when they begin to value the church, the church will be taken out. And then men and women will come up and down. And that will give room for the Antichrist to come. Because he will come bringing solutions. And all the world is going to follow him. This whole process is going to happen in a chicken of an It's going to happen in Job, back in Peter Maritz, back in Cape Town, in Asia. Madagascar at the Amazon jungle. If there's a believer in the jungle, uncivilized as it is, when the trumpet sounds, it sound the will echo throughout the whole earth. Everyone who's a believer, you're being as the trumpet are naturally spiritual. You are awake, spiritual. The ear, Wherever you are, you are gonna hear it. And when you hear it, you won't need to your, your, your system will respond automatically. So respond automatically. Shut sure. the church will be gone. In a, tra- in, a, in a trumpet. And the dead shall be raised incorruptible and shall be changed. It's all gonna happen in a twinkling of an eye. The moment if I do when they hear him charmana. It can be three years, it can be ten years, only God knows. Because the tribulation is a lot of the bank. God is a lot of the bank. God is a peace treaty in Israel. The peace treaty is over seven years. I don't know. 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 Mark my words. That's what we use rock. That one of the biggest mosques. Obonile me kawen zagalen katebe observe the pilgrimage. Kuvelewa kwalema locust. Did you see that video? Where was that one? Vuga ni ni kigalika chiz. Kuita ni chomo ifundi by bed. As ni piskato kudanza. One day says. And you find what it's a shame. It's so pathetic. People don't know the way. Yet they claim to be Christians. You preach to someone who's on the street. You don't know what to say. 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 Because you've been preached to. Look, Jabula, 
I'm not saying go wrong. I'm not saying go wrong, go right. But you must not await. You must not await. What we call apostles today, I rank about used to be I rank a normal believer in the first church. A normal believer in the first church. Mas ek church isela pa isende funu zazwe. Kung agapeli utrend hafiye zo funu zaz go hipro six zo mangal. Isende funu zaz off by heart. Uti no polu ti nessas not lay again the foundation. Let us go on to perfection. Uti uti ubis Lord. Repentance from dead work. So funu wa zukaza lo muntu ga repentance. What is repentance? What is the difference between repentance and sorrow? How many types of repentance do we have? We repent from sin, which is a nature. We repent from sins, which are actions. If you are three years born again, you don't know that you are so behind. But we're scared to look at the niggas. That's why we just come to three years to train apostles, not believers, apostles. After he spent three years with them, they were ready to take the world. There was no time for dancing there. What shall you do? Forty days following him. Hallelujah. When Paul trained the church, did the Bible walk from this other whole night? It was like full moon. It didn't move him. What full moon? Full moon. What full shall the lapans? Full is a a come to hamba. They were taught the ways. So get familiar with the teaching of God's word. Because the sample of Zalo, we have to finish memorize. Your problem, you want to memorize it. Can memorize divinity. It must be born in you. Oh yes, Lord. 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 Then my school and my scientists that they know later, I quote her is not here. It is somewhere else. Because you cannot take and then we knew with the word and tongue in the spirit. Though his brain was damaged, his spirit was intact. He could quote scriptures without memory. Because he didn't memorize them. So you must put no shale and alenwa to eat colors and this is coming and everywhere now. So Jesus, we know that we are not going to get to all. We are just going to get to all. Isn't that what we are going to do? We are to all. We are to all. You must bear them because they go straight to your heart. Hallelujah. We are going to see Mela for tonight. Sasa, make sure you don't miss it because it's going to be a great tribulation. Today we are just testing grounds, and now we know what to pray for, how to pray. We know now. Namu Shaji is all. We started praying yesterday. We prayed today. We're just praying normal prayers because we wanted to step here. Now we have stepped. We know how to pray. So tomorrow is going to be a blast. The Lord is going to increase your understanding when you leave this conference on Friday. When you leave on Friday, you won't look at things the same way. I can do the book the same way. Even this one, every time they're going, it's going to be broken. Because it's a kind of purpose. 